Thank you so much for watching The Real Source with me, Tafadua. Of all the countries that I've ever wanted to visit in Africa, there is one in particular that uh, stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that is Senegal. As a filmmaker, a content producer myself, I know very well that Senegal has produced some of the most amazing films to ever come from our continent. Uh, you talk about legendary filmmakers like Semben uh, Mambeti. Uh, these are both Senegalese directors and they have done amazing work. I was really happy when when I went to Netflix the other day and saw that there is a film that has just come out of Senegal. It is called Atlantics. Oh my God! Wow! And it is directed by the first black female director to be in competition for the Cannes Film Festival's highest award, which is the Palme d'Or. I think that Matty Diop is to be commended for making something truly special. A soon to be inaugurated futuristic tower looms over a suburb of Dakar, Senegal. Ada, uh, who is 17, is in love with Suleiman, a young construction worker, but she has been promised to another man. One night, Suleiman and his co workers disappear at sea, and soon after that, they come back to haunt their old neighborhood by taking possession of the girlfriends that they left behind. Some of the workers have come claiming revenge and threatened to burn the tower down if the developer does not pay their wages. So let me talk about what I really enjoyed. First of all, the acting. Um, there is something about this movie and another movie that I reviewed on this channel not long ago, uh, Joy, uh, which has, has me very impressed with the way actors have been able to, first of all, be very natural, but also really portray the environment in which they live obviously under the leadership of the director. I was very impressed with these natural performances and I must say that the cast led by Mame Bineta San, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but she portrays Ada and she's absolutely amazing. She is both gentle and feisty, uh, and communicates what is a very complex story, but does it really well. The second thing that I also enjoyed about this movie is how it celebrates, in a very unexpected way, African oral tradition. When you watch this movie, you sit down, you think you're about to watch a romantic drama, but just when you think you've got it figured out, you realize there is much more at play here. In fact, it becomes very hauntingly supernatural quite fast. At some point, I felt like I was a kid again, listening to my cousin tell me these uh, ghost stories. I think what I like a lot about this movie is how it is very unexpected. If you're thinking you're gonna snuggle up to some romantic drama, uh, think again. Uh, in fact, if you are the squeamish type and you are considering watching this movie at night, I would recommend you don't. It is uh, quite eerie at times. The music was an interesting part of this movie uh, that I wanna talk about briefly as I end my review. and. Initially, I must say, I was a little put off by the music. And so when certain pieces of music would play off the score, I would be kind of caught off guard and sort of think, what is going on here? This is too much. But as the story starts to unfold and you start to see just how complex, how disturbing and eerie this story really is, you realize all of it was uh, by design, none of it was by mistake. So I really have to commend uh, the director and the sound designer for really sort of putting together a score that matches the unexpected nature of this movie. Very, very good and very brilliantly done. So yeah, in a nutshell, that is kind of some of what I enjoyed about this movie. There is more to enjoy about the film, but I will leave that to you to watch it. Please let me know in the comment section below if you've watched Atlantics or if you plan to watch it and yeah, let me know what you think. But a really great African film coming from a country that has immensely beautiful uh, cinematic heritage. This is one of my favorite ones of the year, certainly. And uh, it caught me by surprise. I didn't expect to see it on Netflix, but there it was. I'm happy because I never expected it. 
but God gave it to me. Well, that's my review of Atlantics, the movie directed by Matty Diop, a story set in Dakar, Senegal, a story of love and ghosts. Please watch it if you have Netflix. I recommend it, particularly if you are into African cinema. Uh, it really is a beautiful movie. But from me here on The Real Source, thank you so much for watching and take care.